Hello, this is Susie Berry. I am coming today from Serene Senses. You can see up in the top corner, I've got my little business logo um, because this is the last of three more meditations that I'll be doing as part of this series. Um, I hope tonight's meditation will be enjoyable for you. I basically asked the Reiki guides out there that are channeled through me to help me pick the perfect cards to help anybody that was watching to feel more hopeful, joyful and fully alive as that is the affirmation that goes along with the bladder meridian. So the cards that I've picked, they are part of the Fairy Wisdom deck um, by Amy Brown. She's given some really great advice and the, the cards are really nice. And um, I've used these for quite a few guided meditations over the years. Um, I've got a couple of other decks I've used before, but I thought Seeing as today is all about kidney meridian and kidney meridian and flu, I thought it'd be nice to use this deck. So this is loosely based around what guidance is in the cards along with the journey that I want to take you on myself. So now during this meditation, you can listen in seated and comfortable or you can lie back. What I would say is if you're going to lie back, prop yourself up with some pillows, bring your fingers to either side of the edge of your eyebrow and your others just above it, like so, and just lie back like so. This helps to bring the blood from the back of your brain to the front of your brain, stimulating the stomach neurovasculars, which are just here on either side of your head together with your bladder neurovasculars, which are just here. So it can be really powerful just holding here and here and just relaxing into that posture and holding it for as long as you like. That simple handhold can be really powerful if you like that. If you were watching the class and you felt the electric hold was more powerful than you, then you can hold that. The electric hold is a couple of inches um, above your nipples in line with your armpit and a few inches below your belly button. You can hold there and there together. When you hold here, you might feel burning sensation in your fingers or tingling. Um, if you want to let go at any point, just twist um, the skin there and that will be fine. Um, so just hold whichever is more comfortable for you and I will let you enjoy the meditation. Before we begin, I'd say it's really good to get some water. Obviously, we're dealing with bladder meridian. You might want to go pee first <laughs> um, before I get started. Um, so you can always pause and come back. Or um, you might even want to get some, some water if you're dehydrated. Um, because the more hydrated you are, the more better your brain works. And the more this meditation will sink in and you will enjoy it. Hopefully. To begin with. Uh, get yourself nice and comfy and just relax for a little while and take a few nice deep breaths. And we're going to start by just visualising each breath. The sound that goes along with bladder and meridian, the water element sound, is that. So you can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth as we just delve into the beginning of this meditation. And you're gonna make that nice whoo noise. And um, you wanna just imagine that you're blowing away any fears. I'm going to get you to go through the whole rainbow, okay? And um, you can just imagine drawing, as you breathe in, you're gonna breathe in the color red to begin with. And as you breathe out, you're going to breathe out that colour, okay? So just breathing in, drawing red right down to your feet. Just 
letting go of all that red and drawing it right back into your feet and breathing out and letting go of any fears. And your whole body just be soaked in red for a little while. And gently bringing your attention to your abdomen and this time just imagine bringing the color orange into your abdominal area just breathing that into your nose breathing out any fear Breathing in that orange. Breathing in that sense of hope. That orange moves through your whole abdominal area. And then just breathing in the color yellow all around your diaphragm. And then breathing in the color green. This time bringing it into the area all around your heart. As you fill up your whole area all around your heart. And then breathe out. Breathing that green right around your heart and gently letting go. Bringing your attention to your throat now. Breathing in the color blue. And drawing your attention up to your third eye, being in the color purple all around your eyes.
And finally, in the crown of your head, drawing your attention there, breathing in that white light all around the top of your head. And just imagine each body part now, focusing in, just doing a gentle body scan. As you feel the top of your head relaxing with that white light moving through it. Relaxing all the tension around your eyes as you focus in on that purple light. Thanking your neck muscles for keeping your head held high. Do you feel the blue move around there? Acknowledging your heart, all the work that it does to keep you alive. As you feel that green light moving around your whole torso. As you breathe in more and more deeply, you can feel the rise and fall of your diaphragm. Acknowledging that yellow color there. Breathing in, feeling your belly rise and fall, acknowledging that orange, that joy sitting there. And finally bringing your attention to your legs, and that red pulsating down your legs and off your feet. Just clearing all of your chakras and that way, feeling all the lights moving through your whole body and breathing deeply it can be really powerful and I'd advise you to do it at least on a weekly basis, getting you in touch with your colours and lights to help clear out your whole chakra system. And with your body nice and relaxed, in that state of peace. You can gently close your eyes, feel your lids become more and more heavy as you just acknowledge your breathing becoming deeper and deeper. And with each breath you can take, you acknowledge the necessity to make changes in your life. To start to consider if you're moving in too many directions. Allow yourself to feel well rested. Acknowledge that perhaps you've been taking on too much for others and that now is a time just for yourself, to feel at peace. And as you do so, you can take confident steps forward as you let your mind be open to going on a little bit of a journey today. And you begin this journey just by breathing deeply, taking notes of each breath, more and more comfortably now, feeling easy, fully at peace, comfortable and relaxed. Bringing your attention to the state of peace with each breath that you take in and out. Feeling comfortable, relaxed, fully at peace.
and the more peaceful you feel, the more you can let your mind begin to drift and wander. And as it does so, you can gently find yourself in front of a doorway. And this doorway is the door to the home of your heart. Take a note of precisely what the store looks like. How heavy it feels to open. As you step through it, look around you. Find yourself in a kitchen. In this kitchen, you find on the fridge a schedule. And the schedule has many, many tasks ahead. The schedule's been written as if it was for five people. It is messy. It has things that are scored out. And your name has been put on this rota to take on tasks that you no longer want to do. As you look at this rota, you realize that perhaps this may be why you're not feeling rested and you're not eating properly and you don't enjoy what you're doing. It is time now to put things back into order. On the kitchen counter, you find paper and pen. And with this paper and pen, you decide to make sure that you have sacred time just for you every day. Step back and prioritize things in your own life that you need to do just for you. It's time to do things in the spirit of joy. A job done without joy is of no benefit to anyone. Release all worried and crowding thoughts into the wind of transformation. Stand in the wind and let it blow your hair. You can feel from the window in the kitchen a slight breeze begin to pick up moving through your clothing, blowing all the negatives away from your being. Feel them release, being picked up by that light breeze and lifted away. Rejoice in nature and its healing ways. Take this time to cast away a few dragons. If there are things on that schedule that have been making you feel tied up. Now is the time to be nice to your body. Your body is always trying to do what is best for you. But when you have too many things on your mind, too many directions in which to go, you tend to stress the body beyond its comfort zone. It is important to release from your life that which is not in your best interest. So take that schedule on the fridge and score things out. If you are caught in thinking, if I don't do it, then who will? 
then now is the time to release everything that you do not need to do. And you will soon see that others will take up the slack. It may be their lesson that you are hanging on to when it needs to be released so that they can learn their lessons for their growth. Ask yourself why you hang on to these tasks. Are you trying to be a super person? Or are you just trying to please others? Or do you feel like you have to prove something? Perhaps your ego is getting in the way and you feel that others may not be able to do things as well as you do. Now is the time to move on from those thoughts. It is important to schedule in doing things that you love to do. You will know what is right for you. If not, think it over. It is important to remember to look after your inner child. And as you think about your inner child, from in the window, you find a little blue spark, the light of a fairy coming in to your kitchen. She invites you to come out, to watch the clouds, to lie back on the grass, to take this time to look after your own inner child. Remember that it's good to be bored once in a while, as sometimes that's just what you need to be able to let your imagination flow, to allow that inner child to blossom, not over scheduling yourself. Use this time to discover what lies within your mind and what potential is there as you connect with your inner child, staring at the clouds and seeing what pictures you can see in them as the fairy just daintily flies back and forth in the corner of your eye. You have every right to daydream and to just be. Now it's time to feel tiny blades of grass against your skin. Do you feel the two of you becoming one as you connect in with Mother Nature? As you stare up at the clouds, connecting in with the grass. Let that inner child be one with Mother Earth. Be one with the nature spirits that come to you to ease your thoughts, grounding you firmly to, to the Earth's crystal core through a direct line from the crystal within your own heart. Plant your feet firmly on the grass and connect in with the crust of the Earth as you align your heart with the sky let yourself be balanced above and below as you pass off some of the responsibility for today. See those dragons fly off into the distance as you cast them away, no longer tying you down to a schedule that you no longer want to hold on to. Your home is in your heart. You carry it with you wherever you go. Let your heart be a state 
a peaceful being and adjoining with spirit. Choosing to surround yourself with love and light. Choosing to release all that is not for your highest good. Take this time to rejoice in the pleasant memories of your past and the hopes and desires of your present. Let this gratitude and hope run through you as you acknowledge that life is good. Let it be so. With this in mind, another fairy comes to join you. She invites you back into your home. This house pixie reminds you of the importance to keep your home clean and clear of any debris. And always change the energy as and when you need to. You can take from your kitchen a little plate which has on it and sage wrapped up. From the cooker you can light that sage gently appreciating the ability to have heat in your home to keep your heart warm. As you put out the gas you appreciate the scent of the sage as it begins to leave smoke in the kitchen. Walk with this smudge stick through your home, clearing out any energy that you no longer want to hold on to. Smudging away any thoughts of relationships that have passed through that home that your heart needs to let go of, to clear out. As you clear your home, pay attention to your feelings and where they are guiding you. Think about what emotion this heart clearance brings up. Do you feel feelings of joy, sadness, fear, anger, guilt or peace. Go with that emotion. Ask what it's about. What does it bring to mind? What is the first thing that pops into your mind that you need to look again and why? If you want to, you can take a mental note here to come back to these thoughts, to journal about them, to clear out any childhood trauma or any difficult thoughts as you continue to smudge your house, making sure you're not dropping any smoldering sparks. If there's any part of your home and your heart where you feel that the sage is not enough, you can always leave a little bit of salt in the corners of your home and bless some water and sprinkle it about. As I ring the chimes, you can envisage the vibrations moving through your heart and your home, 
clearing out anything that no longer needs to live there. You may also wish to ask the fairies to help cleanse your house. Bring in some brownies to help clean up and make sure that things are in good running order. As you return to the kitchen with your sage, you can appreciate the good healthy food in your fridge, all the fruit and veg that you need to keep you going. The nuts and the pulses that help to clear your mind so you're capable of meditating and praying. All the healthy things that you will need to ensure that you get sufficient rest and exercise. For just now, you wish to do the things that are good for your physical, mental and spiritual well-being, whatever that means for you. And your home can do all these things as the answers come from within your own being, knowing what it is you need to do. So just be open to them and listen. Home is where the heart is. And in your home, you have a very special book. A book called Forget-Me-Not, with a beautiful blue fairy on the cover. And you want to sit for a little while, reading this book, taking in some advice from the fairies about departure. As you open the page, you find the following passage to move your heart. As you move along your path, there may be experiences and people that you leave along the way. No matter what sorrow this may bring, always look for the gift that they have given you. There is a gift within everything that comes your way and it is up to you to allow this gift to be recognized for what it is. Some partings feel sad, some are a relief and some are joyous. One thing that is for certain all things change continually, so learn to go with the flow. Sometimes people have to leave so that you or they can grow. Sometimes they come back and sometimes they do not. Ask the fairies to help you with your feelings and to move forward. Life is continuous and non-ending. One does not move to another city and stop existing just because you can no longer see them. So it is with passing from this earth plane. Life continues, but we here on earth cannot see that life in the form that we are used to. Without change, there is no growth and our souls become stagnant. Accept the changes and the departures as part of life's continuance. 
for that is what they are, life evolving as it should. After all, one does not stay in the theatre after the show is over, do they? It's important to examine the relationships. What did you learn from them? What did they give you? How did you bless each other's lives? It's okay to grieve a bit, but do it with a joy for their journey. Whether they are in another, in another city or have departed the planet, you can send them messages from your mind and they will receive them. Just be calm and relax and think what it is that you wish to tell them. The angels, guides, elementals and fairies will help with their delivery. As you read this page, allow for your heart to be filled with the lightness and the joy of a fairy's heart. Know that all things are manifested for your own good, even if you don't see it in the moment. Receive and release those who come and go in your life love and blessings, no matter what the circumstance. As you let those feelings, thoughts and emotions flow through your body, the breeze comes in through the window once more. This time it's so hard, it closes the book completely. Feel that wind as it blows directly into your face. You choose to decide to follow the fairies as they move from the house, blown out. into that stream of air. Feel what it feels like as it hits the different parts of your body as you move out with them. Feel how its current moves around your body and blows your clothing about. Hear it. Sometimes it's as if the wind is voicing you to a stream of words as it roars past. There is a mighty presence in this wind, a great force. You can feel it as you brace yourself for its impact. The power is there for you to harness. Imagine yourself, one with the wind, bolstered by its energy. Run with it. Watch the fairies move with the wind as they fly. You feel like you could almost take fly, exhilarated by the wind, instinctively knowing to run with it, envisioning exactly what the wind will blow to you, where the blow will take you. The wind is a perfect example of the incredible power of the universe. Run with the winds of change and embrace this rolling mist. Whisper the ancient words of magic that come to you in the wind. Harness the wind's strength and power. And in the billowing arms of the wind, you are taken away back to the here and now. The wind brings you back to this point, exactly present 
in your own body. But with one big difference, you feel confident, relaxed, peaceful, and harmonious, knowing the winds of change have already taken place. You just don't know it yet. Take your time coming back to the here and now, if you wish to do so. It's your choice. If you want to, you can open your eyes now or relax and fall asleep. If you choose to open your eyes, gently scan from your head to your feet once more, just checking in and seeing how this meditation has made you feel. Noting that sense of positivity through your body. And when you feel ready to, you can bring your attention to your skin, to your sense of smell, and focus in on your sense of taste as you appreciate some water. Thank you very much for listening. Now have a lovely day ahead. One night ahead. You choose to sleep.